we haven't seen anything like this in, in terms of innovation in our industry um, in years. Never thought you can kind of get a little excited about, you know, a dish machine and, and the system that can go with it. So what this system does is not only does it help them eliminate a waste stream, it also helps Carroll University accomplish their sustainability initiatives. We wanted to make the right choice for the institution. Our job is to leave this place better than we found it. Three meals a day, seven days a week. We're probably serving about close to 3,000 meals a day. All of the waste byproduct that now comes out of the dish room, uh, it no longer has to go into a dumpster. It no longer goes in the trash. We do a lot of fresh fruit, whole melons, the peels, the rinds, all that was going into the landfill. Imagine our associates trying to lift that out of, you know, waste receptacles. Um, we no longer do that. And we're also able to take that byproduct that went in the dumpster or the trash can previously, and now it's going back into the earth and it's being utilized by our campus. That's an exciting story, I think, for us. Basically, you could take 100 pounds of waste and, and, and have that dehydrated down to 10 pounds. Phenomenal. Hard to comprehend, but having seen it for the last couple of months, I can tell you it's real. People on our staff will go and collect it in the morning, and you know, some mornings there will be more than others, depending on the, uh, how busy the, the kitchen area is, but uh, usually on a, a normal day, that's, that's about what we will have. For 3,000 meals? Yeah, it just really breaks everything down really good. And so what we're able to save in what we're dropping in dumpsters, uh, and there's an expense involved with that, of course, there's labor involved with that, there's, there's haul away, there's, there's the, the equipment itself, but it's really just about what we're also doing, uh, you know, doing our part for, for the environment. The challenge we were presented with here at Carroll, uh, they had a 30-year-old disc machine. It, it was no longer efficient, uh, it was 30-year-old technology, they were spending a tremendous money on natural gas utilization, a tremendous amount of water going through the machine that didn't need to happen. So it was just truly time to upgrade. That, and if you can imagine where we were uh, as a culture 30 years ago, who heard about sustainability or environmental friendliness, right? It wasn't that cutting edge. Uh, as we flash forward 30 years to the present date, not only was it an, an opportunity to increase the efficiencies as it, as it relates to water usage uh, and natural gas usage, but really to truly help them achieve their sustainability initiatives here on campus. We're using less water. Uh, we're using less uh, energy to heat uh, because we're reusing. Uh, the rinse water is being reused to wash. Uh, and so every step of the way, we're trying to, to, to reduce, to reuse, and to recycle. It's better to just throw it in a landfill or, or somewhere else. So we'll just collect it from the uh, equipment down at the, uh, at the kitchen. And we bring it up here and we'll turn it into our compost pile that we put the, the leaves and old flowers and any uh, soil we have. And, and we'll use it in the beds next spring. The solution that was provided by Champion just really made sense. I mean, you want everything to be working. And it's really beneficial to have one company come in and be a total solution provider because then they're working together internally. And it's not like, all right, once the parts are coming together, if we're using three different companies, um, then, then you got a little more coordination. The, the scrapping still takes place, but now we go into a grinder system. That grinder then grinds the food particulate into a very fine matter. That then goes through a slurry tube and discharges into a centrifuge. The centrifuge then spins at a very high rate, so we spin out most of the water that's in that remaining food particulate. That remaining food particles then go down into a dehydrator. That dehydrator has an auger that agitates the material and over a 12 to 14 hour drying cycle, then essentially turns that dried out food product into organic matter. We're taking that, that, that waste byproduct, the discharge product from the dehydrator, Grounds is using it. I mean, so we really have a full circle program here. You know, you hear a lot of people talk about it, but to actually be a part of it and doing it, it's a rewarding experience. When we looked at the space, we realized there were some opportunities to improve efficiencies uh, from a workflow standpoint to make the dish room operation as efficient as it possibly could be. We had other folks tell us that we can't give you a tray return like we have right now because of space. You can see the pass-through the pass through window behind me. We expanded that by about three feet. We took down a wall and expanded room for the accumulator table to fit into the space. Champion really came forward, brought us solutions that made it work within the space that we had available to work within and um, brought all three pieces, the dish machine, the tray return, and our sustainability piece as well. We anticipate a significant savings on the waste side of things. We also are anticipating about a $10,000 a year savings in energy usage. And really from a workflow standpoint, by doing these things, we're able to make the operators on the dish machine much more efficient. The, the service after the sale has just been phenomenal. On the one hand, it's just a dish machine. On the other hand, it's, it's a sustainable solution that, that's gonna probably last 
uh, and be on the campus longer than you are. And so I think we take that challenge seriously here at Carroll. Uh, we want to make sure that, again, we're leaving this place better than we found it, and I think this machine helps us do that.